Hi there. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, make sure that your DAC is working and connected uh, with the sound settings in Windows 11. And um, uh, the shortest way that I know of accessing the sound settings would be to right click on the speaker icon in the taskbar here. So right click, left click sound settings. And then you'll, you'll see at the top, uh, you're under system, sound, and output is what you want to see. And you're going to see the output devices that are listed. Hopefully, if your DAC is connected and powered on, you'll see your DAC, which in this case is, this is my DAC, it's highlighted. And then I have it 100% uh, volume uh, uh, level, and the reason for that is to minimize uh, distorting your audio if you're using different volume controls between the speakers or your amplifier um, you may end up with overload so uh, if you generally if you have one way of adjusting your volume um, it may be better to use the speakers themselves or the amplifier itself to adjust the volume instead of your volume control here um, of course, your mileage may vary, but I believe this is should be at 100%. Um, <clears throat> and then moving down, um, I have my mic here that's listed because I'm recording this audio. And then if you're having problems where you can't hear your DAC and you've got it plugged in and powered on, um, you might go down to advanced here and look under troubleshoot common sound problems um, and what I would maybe suggest first is click on the output device uh, wording here and it'll bring up uh, a separate menu and of course it says we're here to help welcome to Windows audio or sound troubleshooter uh, do we have consent to proceed you either say yes or no you may need to sign in at the moment I'm not signed in um, but here's a place to begin for some troubleshooting uh, if you're having problems. Um, you can also, my, I, I would just suggest looking at everything here, you know, look under all sound uh, devices. Um, you can, you know, just check to see if anything makes sense to you here by reading and just looking at the various settings. Um, let's look at the volume mixer while we're here. So then you have your output device, which is my DAC here, and my input device, which is my microphone. And of course, as I mentioned, the volume's at 100%. System sound is at 100%. And then OBS is the recording software that I'm using right now that's at 100%. So I'm just showing you the various settings uh, that may pertain to your DAC, or at least a place to troubleshoot as I mentioned under the advanced which will be under the system sound and then I'm going to close this out and then just show you another way of accessing that uh, sound setting you can left click on the uh, start menu and then just type in the word sound and then it's already highlighted just hit enter and then we're going to be back where we were so um, just try to be methodical with you know, the process of trying to make sure your DAC is connected properly and just follow through a sequence to get it working if it's not working. And then um, the last part of this, uh, hold on just a second, would be to, um, I guess if you wanted to, another way of looking at your uh, your menus, um, there's an older view of the menu uh, that would be under the start menu. You can type in control panel. Oop, I just hit it twice. Let's try it again. Control, hit enter. And then this is an older view of the control panel. And you may actually see it as category. So if you do, uh, and you want to get to sound, I guess you could click here, hardware and sound, or you can just change the category to large icons. 
then click on sound and then when you're there this is an older uh, view of the menus that you would normally see in Windows 7 and you can go through the tabs here if you're curious or if you need to look at something that's not shown in the other menus but basically it should be a, a, a duplicate or similar duplicate to the uh, more modern more current uh, menus that I just showed you so this just shows a check mark to the default um, uh, DAC that I'm using if you were curious on this you could click on to highlight it you can go to configure you can test the sound if you want you can go to properties and look at the different tabs here um, I have a lot of things disabled because I'm trying to get the best sound out of my DAC of course your mileage may vary um, I do recommend you looking at the show notes for additional information and it may actually help you further than what I've uh, said so far so and I will link an older uh, video of my of uh, Windows 7 and 10 DAX and um, there will be a link to that and uh, that's it thanks for watching